Hi, this is Tamara Rubin, Let's Save Mama. TamaraRubin.com, Let's Save Mama.com. And today I'm here to talk to you about silver plate objects. And this is a filigree work. Um, it says England on the background, but I Googled it and it looks like it's not made in England. It might be made in the United States. Um, it has a menorah on the back. I don't know if you can see that clearly as the uh, logo right there. And then it says England down here. And this is on the blog with the full extract test results. And I will be washing my hands after I um, handle it. <clears throat> so when tested with an XRF instrument, this tested between 6,000 and 9,000 parts per million lead, which is kind of a lot of lead. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to test it also with a swab kit. This is the liquid and the powder. And we're gonna go crush crush and shake and then that turns yellowy orange on the inside and we're gonna drop it on to the food surface to see if it turns red so we dropped a couple drops there and we're gonna rub it to see what happens um, it's not meant to be used on metal substrates and in fact since this hasn't been polished or clean in a while it it came out pretty mucky brown. I'm just gonna see if I can rub it a little more and get some pink to show up. Yeah, what I just did was I ended up cleaning a spot of where it hadn't been cleaned. So even though this tested positive with an XRF uh, instrument, and even though it's positive at a very high level, it didn't test positive with the swab, but that doesn't mean it's not positive for lead. And I believe this also has other toxicants in it as well. If you want to learn more about um, the toxicant profile of filigree work silver plate curios, check out leadsafemama.com. Thanks for being here.